Hey there guys, it's Steven again and today I'm gonna look at another video I did this one against Riku and this is actually the very first battle I ever recorded with the uh, VS uh, recorder the game gives you the VS recorder right after you beat the Elite Four in this game and this was uh, just a, a, a guy I had in my uh, passerby or I did a wonder trade with him or something that he was in my uh, acquaintances so I just challenged him and he accepted and the, the only problem with these kinds of uh, of battles is that it's not really a, you don't really have any presets of rules like let's say if you would buy if you would fight a friend like uh, like I did with Stefan there we always do a six on six usually it's a uh, level 100 Pokemon and we don't bring in legendaries and stuff like that and in most in instances when you do challenge somebody like I did with this guy they always carry either a, a Vidal or, or Xerneas or a Mewtwo and that really brings uh, uh, bigger advantages to that team especially when they carry a Mewtwo even if you don't train your Mewtwo or you don't really take care of him that much those guys are are godly even with, with like I said without even being EV trained so that's something I don't don't really like, but it's part of the game, and it I'll take that any day of the week. Bef besides the old oh, system we had in black and white, where it was really painful, and every time you ha had random battles, it had to be three versus three. So I prefer this system here. And what's great about this system is that even people who don't really like to, uh, who don't want to take the time to train Pokemon to level 100, which can be time-consuming at times. Well, they don't have to, they can just challenge people and still maintain a 6-on-6 six six battle, which is a lot more fun than 3-on-3, three three. and the Pokemon will automatically be uh, level 50. If you're level 25, well, you'll be level 50. If you're level 100, you'll be down to level 50. So it works perfectly, and it's a lot of fun. It makes it a lot more uh, easy to, uh, to battle people. There's no, uh, no more limitations to uh, train your Pokemon to level 100. So here I'm gonna bring my Blaziken in, and I think I'm gonna me Mega Evolve. And again, this is this is a very ver very early build of my team. At that point, I most of these weren't even level 100 yet. They still didn't have their full uh, move sets. And these are the Pokemon I started with and played the entire game with. So they are not EV train or or nothing like that. So. It's not exactly my best team, but since it's one of my early battles, I still wanted to showcase showcase it and show you guys the diversity of the game. And this Pokemon here is called uh, IG Slash. is actually pretty interesting. And he has two forms. He has an offensive form, which every time you use an attack, he reverts to that form. And in that form, he's pretty, uh, like, his attack stats and special attack stats are extremely high. But on the other hand, if you want to reverse him to his uh, defensive stat, which has an amazing defensive and special defense stats, you need to use a move called King Shield. And that move, you actually don't learn it. You have to go to the move tutor and use a Dragon Scale and teach him that way. And it's pretty important because it acts just like Protect. Except that if a guy hits you with a physical attack, his attack uh, automatically gets uh, lowered drastically. And also, it's the only move that can revert you back to uh, your defensive form. But while when you're in defensive form, you can also use moves like Toxic and stuff like that. So, it's a pretty interesting Pokemon and I, I use it a lot. Mine is also slower and that's... Uh, that's done on purpose because I always want to attack second because I want the defensive uh, form to take the hit and then attack with the offensive form and then use the king shield to bring him back because when he's on the, his offensive form he basically cannot take a single hit. So here he'll he'll bring his Vidal and at the time I didn't know that this was a dark flying type. I just thought it was a dragon something type. So I didn't know it was weak to fly, uh, fighting moves, so I would have probably used like a fighting move here instead of uh, another flare bits, and I could have taken this guy down. But instead I'll go with a flare bits, and as you'll see, 
he'll live with like two or three HP left. Which was pretty lucky. But the thing is, now that I think about it, since he's half flying, I'm not even sure if fighting uh, flying might be resistance to fighting types since they're effective against them. But that doesn't always work that way and I don't I don't know the weakness uh, type chart by heart, but I'd have to check it out. But I think a uh, fighting move would have taken that uh, that beast down. But nonetheless, I'm gonna bring my. I don't even know this Pokemon's name anymore, obvious, uh, uh, honestly, because I I nickname every Pokemon I get, except those that are in the trade. And this guy is I know that his original form was called Flabebe, and he evolves twice. And I don't know what this form is, but it's basically. A fairy type and the funny thing about this Pokemon is even today most people assume that it's a grass type and it has absolutely nothing to do with a grass type it's a pure fairy type so you'll see a lot of people switch into a fire Pokemon assuming or using a fire attack just assuming it's gonna kill him and this thing has tremendous special defense like something like 350 plus special defense so it can live anything you throw at it unless you go with a physical move but that's just something I thought was funny that and to be honest, it does look like a grass type. It should probably be one, but it's just a fairy type. So still today, I can uh, use that to its advantage. So he's going to use his Blastoise. And the Flare Bits will not obviously kill it since it's Mega Evolved. But I'll be a bit lucky here and I'll dodge the Hydro Pump. And I'll be able to finish it after since I'm quicker. And look at this, I have Flamethrower and Flare Bits, which... Honestly, I don't usually have uh, two moves of the same type, especially one physical and one special on a Pokemon, just to show you how early this team is. This is a battle that took place uh, just a few days after the game was uh, was originally launched. He's gonna bring in his Gardevoir here, and he's gonna get lucky with a crit, but I guess that balances things out with the Mist Hydro Pump earlier, and I'm gonna bring in my Greninja. And I didn't know that this dude was half fairy, so you're gonna see I'm gonna keep using uh, dark moves, thinking that it's only psychic, like it was in uh, black and white, but it's now also half fairy. So it's not gonna kill it because fairies are resistance to dark types. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.